not such bad news that this ETF was squashed. So there's a couple of things. When we, uh, I was on about three weeks ago and there were kind of two things we talked about. BK and I kind of talked about how a lot of the traders we spoke with th- saw that 6800 level as kind of being something that needed to break through. Every time it got to 6800, it kind of petered out and, and, and rolled over. Uh, Dan brought up the point that he didn't care about any rally because it was a bear market rally. We continued to have lower highs and lower lows. So we needed to break out of that. So he's completely right that, you know, the, the artificial price or the price of cryptos being this low for now is not necessarily bad. And unfortunately, it is going to take a while for this ETF process to uh, be figured out with the regulators. And that's why whenever Bitcoin has recovered and the price has gone up a little bit, I haven't got too excited. And when it does go back down, it doesn't surprise me because, like I said, they haven't fixed the institutional problem and um, it's going to happen in the future. Now, when is it going to happen? I don't know. I still feel like most likely by the end of the year, but if not, the beginning of next year in 2019. So the main thing is to basically make sure you know how to invest in crypto. If you have crypto assets, not to fire sell them and just weather the storm because once the ETF is set up and once some of these projects, these crypto projects that are still pie in the sky and still being tested out, Um, are basically figure out their use case and are able to be scaled, then I can see crypto prices staying much higher instead of constantly just going up and down. And uh, I I do feel like this 200 billion to 300 billion market cap that we've kind of been teetering around is perfect. It should stay at this level until we see cryptos um, come out with some institutional players, you know, institutions that will allow people to make crypto investments. And then, like I said, these projects need to mature and actually have more of a use case. Um, And that's why I'm a big fan of uh, most of my investments are in the top 10 because I do feel like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, um, any of these top 10 coins, uh, they have much more use case and uh, just more credibility than some of the smaller projects. But obviously, you can make a lot more money on the smaller projects. So if you're a savvy investor and you really do understand cryptocurrencies, then go for it. But you know, my recommendation for anyone who's watching that's a beginner, stay in the top 10 and uh, just wait for that ETF to finally come out. Um, and it's just not the U.S. market. It's going to happen and also in other markets, especially Asia. Asia is huge. Um, so just wait and uh, we'll see what happens. And then just so you know, the CNBC clips, I will not play more than 30 seconds. If people are wondering what happened to my YouTube channel, uh, it got taken down by CNBC. They do not want me sharing their content. Fox News, Bloomberg, anything else, I can share much longer clips. But CNBC, my new rule of thumb is 25 seconds, no moss, because I don't want them to take down this YouTube channel as well. <laughs> Anyways, let me know your thoughts and I will talk to you soon.